As the conflict between the Ethiopian federal government and the Tigray regional government in northern Ethiopia continues to rage, the UN warns of a full-fledged humanitarian crisis. The number of refugees fleeing the Tigray region into Sudan is now in the tens of thousands, and that number is set to rise, as is the number of people who are internally displaced. As Ethiopian authorities continue to block air and road access to the Tigray region and impose a communications blackout, it's difficult to evaluate the magnitude of the problem. The UN says, restocking warehouses with humanitarian supplies to provide much-needed emergency assistance remains impossible for their agencies and other aid groups. For years, Tigray hosted tens of thousands of Eritrean refugees in a number of camps who are now caught in the midst of the conflict, unable to receive support. In addition to the emerging humanitarian crisis, there are further challenges to consider. There are major concerns regarding food security, which was already critical before the start of the armed conflict. Large areas were already on the path towards food insecurity because of the unprecedented locust invasions which had a severe impact on crop harvests. With most people in Tigray being subsistence farmers, the locust invasions have increased the pressure on farmers to be able to produce enough crops for survival. Not only that, but the COVID-19 pandemic has weakened the food supply chain with reduced agricultural activity and limited employment. The current conflict could restrict access to aid and government funding to the region. There are major concerns that the combination of a prolonged conflict, the ongoing pandemic, and the impact of climate change will mean that Ethiopia could see food insecurity levels similar to that of the 1980s. When it comes to the role played by neighbouring countries, Tigrayan fighters have accused their northern neighbour Eritrea of being directly involved in the conflict, something that is denied by those in the capital, Asmara. But they also say that Emirati fighter drones are being used by the Ethiopian army. While these claims are hard to independently verify, it is clear that there are some regional players who have interests in what's going on in Ethiopia. For a decade now, Sudan and Egypt have been in talks with Addis Ababa over Ethiopia's $4.6 billion mega dam over the River Nile, which is nearing completion now. But so far, the talks haven't managed to reach a comprehensive deal. Ethiopia has been one of the leading contributors of peacekeeping forces for the UN, and its army is involved in Somalia. If the conflict continues, these missions will likely be reduced. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed promised a quick and surgical military offensive, but there are some who are not certain if the conflict will end soon. But even if it does end quickly, the country, particularly Tigray and its people, will continue to feel its impact for some time to come.